Hey YouTube, it's Dimitri and today I'm going to discuss data science and where it's heading, where it's going, and my opinions on this. So I get this question quite a bit. I sit around with a bunch of friends I've graduated from school with, uh, colleagues, other professionals in the industry, uh, students as well ask this question quite a bit, which is, um, is data science going to be big? Also data science is known as machine learning, data science, artificial intelligence. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's kind of a two-part answer when I've discussed this with other people. Uh, there's the data science itself, uh, the mathematics behind it, the methodologies, and then for me those are the second part which is most data scientists, so the people that are actually using this. And my contrasting opinion between these two are significantly different. So just to start off with, data science is amazing, it's great. I've actually seen it be put into practice at a few different banks. Uh, it's used for categorization, so categorizing um, different sets of data, dividing between different types and different categories. It's great for doing regression, predictive modeling, um, decision making, i.e. the decision trees that are involved within data science and machine learning. And it's great. I think it's very useful. Uh, it discovers more or less trends or patterns within the data that aren't traditionally seen in a linear sense. Um, these nonlinear kind of relationships are harder to approximate during the current methods we use in statistics. And so I think it's a great tool. It's amazing. Um, if you're looking to go get a job, you're a student uh, or you're a professional and you're wanting to go out there and make yourself more competitive, I would get into data science because data science is big. Um, data science though is based on statistics. So when people run out there and they go, oh, data science is crazy. It's amazing. It's great. It's going to take over the world. Yeah, there's a lot of really great uses for it. Um, it can be used in anything from like technology and like customer experiences, um, improving your searches. Uh, it can be used to help you find things, to do things better. Um, it can also be used in banking, marketing analytics, and other fields to do predictive modeling. I think it's an amazing thing. However, it comes down to the fact that data science isn't like, it's not new. Like it's somewhat new, like the principles and the applications are new, but it's guys, it's just statistics. It's taking statistics and mathematics that we've more or less already known. Um, someone's written some papers, it's evolved, but again, you're still using statistics to get to data science. It's just a different type of statistics. So running out there and saying like, oh, I need a data scientist or a machine learning expert, but I don't need like a statistician. I get that from an employer and the fact that like statisticians probably aren't up on the times. They don't understand machine learning and these new methods. However, it's more or less just another form of statistic. So now my opinion on data scientists and the actual application of data science in industry uh, is quite concerning. I think the problem with data science I have is that it's going to be more or less abused. And I think this is already happening right now in standard statistical methods. And so a good example of like SAS. SAS is a language that builds statistical models and programs. I went to a SAS convention I think a year or two ago and they talked about you know these new applications you can pay for, they're really expensive, but more or less you just throw all this data in, it generates a model, a model comes out, you can use this model and you don't need quants anymore because you can hire this program or you don't need statisticians because it just makes formulas for you. And then you just pick the model with like the best p-values and the best this and the best that and it gives you some model. So this is extremely dangerous, it's extremely irresponsible and I think this is where data science currently is. Um, I'm hoping it improves significantly and that master's programs or even bachelors out there that are teaching data science will actually hone this and drive home the importance of understanding the models, understanding the results, and understanding when to utilize them and when not to utilize them. And I say this because it's like the statistical models. Everyone says, well, it'd be great, Dimitri, if you could just like put all this data in, a computer would just generate the best model possible, you'd use the model. But this is when you start getting into like black boxes. And this is when a lot of people are upset during, you know, the financial crisis saying, you know, oh, these financial engineers built black box models and like high frequency trading is bad because it's trading in this black box and nobody knows it's inside and crazy results are coming out and the world's going to explode because no one knows what's going on, right? And it's a valid concern because if nobody knows what's going on inside the equation or inside this box, then we don't know the outcomes. We don't know when the model goes awry. We don't know if it's a reasonable output or not because the people that are building these models by just throwing stuff in and getting something out don't understand what's happening you know, inside that black box. And so to say that, there's realistically, in my opinion, there's no black box because the person that's developing, like in the financial engineering industries, when they have these black box algorithmic trading models for high frequency trading, it's not a black box. 
There's mathematics going on inside. Uh, it's developed. The developers understand these very well in general. There are many, many, many crappy, horrible modelers out there who just build stuff. And then again, things blow up and then everyone acts like, oh, I don't know what happened. Like it should have worked. Kind of with copula modeling. But the thing is, is that, you know, the people that are building these models need to understand what's going on inside. And so just as in high frequency trading and the concerns around that, uh, my concerns are on the fact that there's everybody's running out there now, like everybody's a quant. All of a sudden we're shifting now and I'm seeing this trend that everybody's a data scientist because they took some class, uh, they went into R or Python or something, and they just threw a bunch of data in, they use random forest neural networks, um, they use some method and they come up with some solution, it's great, it's amazing, but they can't explain it to you. Um, they say, oh, it's just random forest, right? We all know random forest. And then you start asking them, oh, can you explain to me what a sigmoid transformation is and how you get from one state to another state and how all these trees work. And then they give you like a general kind of idea, but the data scientists I've met, there's not a lot of them that really understand what's going on under the hood. And so again, kind of just in conclusion on this, I love data science. I think, you know, a lot of the new methods are amazing. It's nothing new, it's just statistics. It's a new type of statistics. Um, so yeah, I'm a big fan of it. I think data science is amazing. It's gonna have great impacts on the world. It'll help improve a lot of the modeling, developing uh, predictive analytics that we're doing in many different industries. Uh, I think it will improve the lives of everybody as it becomes better and better. And we spend more time understanding these methods. But on the flip side, my big warning to people out there is don't go out there and just learn how to type in like Rand Forest and like R and then throw in some data. Uh, figure out what the hell is going on behind this model because it's gonna be your fault when these things fail. And again, in the tech world, tech people are great, but they don't really understand when something blows up, they could be liable for billions or trillions of dollars. Uh, I think this is a lot more relevant in the financial industries when something blows up, Right, the banks take the heat, and oh, by the way, all your retirement's gone, and companies are going bankrupt left and right, and so the impact of the financial industry is typically more severe than the tech world. So I applaud the tech industry for leading this. I applaud the banks that are using it currently, but more or less, my warning is be careful when you use this. Try to understand it, um, and when you talk to people about data science or machine learning, ask them a lot of questions. If they don't seem to really know things, I'd be a little hesitant to follow their advice. But those are kind of my thoughts and opinion on data science. Um, I think it is heading in a great direction. It's going to be a booming industry. It's going to take over a lot of different methods as it adds a lot of value. Again, be cautious in using it and try to make sure you understand everything that's going on, uh, why the results are coming out, how they function, and try to look for mistakes and errors in these machine learning algorithms. So thanks for watching and as always, until next time. Thanks for watching my video. If you find it helpful, please like, share, and subscribe.